We are in the south of Paris on the uh, uh, training ground, if I can say this way, say this way of uh, ECA, uh, where uh, they can hold their demonstration about, about the product. So we have demonstrated the cooperation between two different robots, a UAV, the IT-180 that you see in the back, and a UGV, the iguana that you see in the front. Why is it important to show the cooperation between the two? It is important because it's, that's the future. During this uh, little um, demonstration, what have you seen? If you've seen the two fulfilling the different tasks that need to be fulfilled when you try to destroy an improv improvised explosive device. So you have to observe, you have to detect, you have to identify, and then you have to destroy. That's what is done around the world, either by security forces or even by, uh, by military forces uh, on the ground in operation. Okay? And so the uh, IT-180 has been given the task of observing and detecting. It went in the air, observed the surrounding and saw um, an abandoned vehicle that could be a threat. Then uh, the Inguana was sent by the uh, driver, let's call it this way, or the controller, uh, to the vehicle. Did identify that there were effectively a bomb inside the, uh, actually a bomb inside the, inside the vehicle, and then did destroy. That's the hacking part. The bomb with his water gun. Okay, the great thing in it is you have nobody is in jeopardy. You enhance the capability of the human beings, uh, the observation and the detection capability of the human being by with the AT-180, and then you protect the human being because he is not going directly to the threat with the iguana who is doing the job. Then uh, the great thing is you need one controller to do both. You have a very uh, instinctive, very uh, easy to easy to handle uh, tool to uh, manage both the UAV and the UAV and the UGV and to maneuver the two according to his need. This land robot is called uh, the Iguana. It's a brand new robot from the ACR group, uh, uh, full range of AOD product. So it's suited for counter-AOD missions, uh, as you can have a uh, manipulator hub on the system to uh, handle various missions, such as inspection in confined areas, you can go inside a car, you can uh, do some diagnostic with uh, sensors integrated on it and X-ray modules, and the neutralization part, thanks to disruptors that you can directly plug uh, on the system. So this system is answering uh, new threats and new uh, terrorism, uh, terrorism uh, operandus Monday, as uh, you can unplug the wheels you see here and the stem will become very compact it will be 42 centimeters so you can go inside a plane uh, to do specific missions such as uh, luggage recovery uh, in an aircraft cabin um, this system is also a brand new generation concerning the, drive, the interface, the driving of the system. Uh, as you can see, there is various axes of the manipulator, there is various flippers. So, in order to uh, have a very easy to use system, we integrate some intelligence. There is intelligence about uh, the manipulation. You can ask uh, your arm to go directly to prepositioned uh, position. You, automatic, uh, you go automatically to this position, so the X-ray analysis position the car inspection position and the customer is able to uh, choose the position it himself he can say I often go need to be in the extension position so you pre program yourself uh, a position this is uh, the intelligence for the manipulation there is also intelligence for to drive the system uh, as you can automatically clear obstacle and clear stairs so you just uh, have to determine the configuration you can be climbing stairs from uh, back or from front so you just determine the situation, press a button, and the obstacle clearance will be automatic. The obstacle clearance with this system is up to 50 centimeters high. <laughs> 